We have our feet to thank for walking, standing, running, and so many other activities. They take the weight of the entire body day in day out, and so they're often overworked. It's been calculated that in the Western world, every human being during an 80-year lifetime walks on average around 174,000 kilometers. That's about half the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Most of that is covered in cased in shoes, so research is underway in the laboratories of Geox in Montebelluna near Venice to keep your feet dry and comfortable. Along with scientists at Venice and Padua University and the Joseph Staffan Institute in Ljubljana, Slovenia, they've been studying a special microporous membrane. Once applied inside a shoe, it uses physics to do its job. Everything starts with the study of anatomy and physiology of the foot, and in particular the mechanism of heat exchange between the feet and the external environment. When muscles in the feet contract, they produce heat, which must be dissipated. Now, in contrast to other parts of the body, the foot doesn't have very many heat-generating organs. Those are in the rest of the body. So really, the foot is like a radiator. The heat must come, comes to the foot, like to the hands, and we must lose this heat to the environment by, by the sweating or evaporation and also by heat loss from the skin. The membrane allows the dissipation of water vapor molecules caused by sweating, but is a barrier to external humidity and keeps the foot dry. The membrane is a microporous material characterized by high permeability and high breathability. Its main characteristic is the pore dimension, as we can see in this microscope picture magnified 12,000 times. In particular, the dimension of every single pore is 20,000 times smaller than a water molecule, like, for example, a molecule of rain. But it is 700 times bigger than a molecule of water steam as a molecule of sweat. This means that you can put the membrane on a pierced sole, as in this case. This will stop water passing through the porous membrane and getting inside the shoe while allowing sweat to escape through the sole. To improve its performance, the membrane undergoes a number of tests. The transpiration test measures the quantity of water vapor passing through the membrane and its condensation on a glass surface. Bubbles show how air from the lower chamber can cross the membrane. If the membrane is waterproof, the lower chamber stays perfectly dry. Using humidity sensors and thermo cameras, it's possible to analyze the performance of the membrane on a person walking. The objective of our research is to study the breathability of these materials in terms of mechanical resistance and duration. We started the research many years ago, and while we are making progress, there's a long way to go. Applying technology to the shoe seems long overdue, and it's not stopping here. Smart there, I see, is another area which is very interesting. That means providing sensors into clothing, footwear, which provides people with feedback and knowledge about the status of their body, their feet. If we have children who are incapable of telling us that they're cold or hot or elderly, then by this information, maybe conveyed to a smartphone or an iPad, whatever, would allow us to monitor their well-being and making sure that their, if you like, uh, in this case, feet are at an optimal temperature. A lot more research is still needed until we can get our hands on the so-called shoes of the future and give our feet a break.